Aloha, Fire Emblem fans and gamers alike. It's your boy, the Edge Master, with the Dirty Boy Swag, Good Gamer Glenn, here with another episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem Three Houses, Golden Deer. Uh, so today, we're going to be doing another episode where we're just going to be going around the monastery. Uh, most of the time, we'll probably be taken up by supports. So, um, if you really want to, like, not watch this episode, um, maybe at least watch the supports, you know, get some more character background, character traits, personalities, or whatever. And then, um, you know, you can just go ahead and leave. But if you're interested in more monastery stuff, what I'm actually doing to these characters to, you know, buff them and whatnot, then feel free to keep on watching. Just, uh, if you do end up leaving, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Hopefully we'll get to the, uh, monthly battle, if anything. But, uh, let's begin. So, yeah, like I said, we're starting off with supports. Because who doesn't want to see supports, right? You want to know more about the characters, don't you? Ooh. Claude and Hilde. I always see, like, a connection between these two. Oh, are you actually reading, Hilda? I thought you hated study. Oh, hush. It's just a letter from my brother. He sends them all the time. Um, let me pause that real quick. Uh, I do apologize for any wind noises or any chair squeaking because, uh, yeah, it is hot, so the AC is on, and my chair squeaks. So, yeah. Your brother, huh? Isn't he known as a great general of the Alliance? A true beacon of... Don't even start. That's got nothing to do with me. Uh-oh, better not let your brother hear you say that. It would break his fraternal heart. But all joking aside, it sounds like he really cares for you. You can say that again. He must be rather bored, too, now that the situation in Elmira has settled down. Ah, the Elmirans, the Eastern Menace, as they're often called. I did hear your brother had fought them a number of times. In fact, I hear he's even gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nadir, the great Elmiran warrior. Nadir the Undefeated, was it? Just another grizzled old man, as far as I'm concerned. But my father was ecstatic when he heard my brother had defeated him. He paraded my brother all over our territory. What a pain that must have been for our people. A pain? Any celebration is something to be enjoyed. Celebration puts smiles on faces faster than anything. I'm sure even you at least congratulated him, right? A smile from you would surely mean the world to your brother. Well, sure. Then he got all worked up and started saying things like, I am the protector of Fodlin. That's not far from the truth, you know. Why do you think the Almirans have been so quiet lately? They're wary of your brother. If House Goneril of the Border were a bunch of weaklings, the Almirans would have invaded Fodlan a long time ago. You talk about it as though you've spoken to the Almirans yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, I am heir to the leading house of the Alliance. I'm privy to all kinds of information, whether I like it or not. <laughs> you act so nonchalant about your studies, but you know so much about politics and history. You're a hard guy to grasp, you know that, Claude? Oh, I disagree. I'd let you grasp me any day. My hand, my heart, even my neck. Whoa. But if you want to know all of my secrets, you'll have to bear yours as well. Well, dang. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, those two are like a thing. Or, well, might be a thing. Oh. Ignatz, let us take a short break. I will pour tea. Please choose a teapot for us to use. You want me to pick one? I don't see any other Ignatz around here, do you? Go on now, we're wasting time. The pots are over here. I will leave the selection to your judgment. Ah, let's see. Watch him criticize each pot he brings. <laughs> How about this? That's rather plain. Why did you choose that one? The tea you chose has a very subtle taste, as well as a smooth, light texture. Such an unassuming tea calls for an unassuming pot, and one that complements the tea's color. Mm. In addition, the pot I selected has a floral design. Although we can't go for a walk today, we can still bask a little in nature's beauty. Very interesting. You know, you have an absolutely marvelous aesthetic eye. Precisely what I would expect from the son of a merchant house that has enjoyed the Gloucester's patronage for so many years. After we graduate, when you begin your trade in earnest, I will introduce you to my father. Oh, that sounds wonderful. 
but I'm afraid I'm already on the path to becoming a knight. Oh. Ah, right, you are a second son. Still, your eye for beauty is a talent that should not go to waste. Very well. If you are to be a knight, then I shall happily take you into my service. Oh, ah, well. well. Hmm. What, does that displease you? Not at all. I just need a little time to think it over. Bruh, you got a job. Well, I guess anybody would be kind of... His eye for the arts is unwavering, but in all other matters he is woefully indecisive. I guess, I guess anybody would be kind of shocked to be offered a position like that right off the bat, unless they really wanted it, and of course they'd be super happy for it. And Ignatz has one with Lysithia, alright. Good morning, Lysithia. Out for a stroll, are we? It's lovely weather for it. I might go wander outside myself. I'm sure I can see some beautiful sights. Are you hitting on her? Ignatz, hold still, will you? Uh, sure. Your shoes are untied. It looks sloppy. Let me just fix it for you. Hmm. Oh, oh, no. Thank you for letting me oh, know. Oh, no. But really, I'm perfectly capable of tying them myself. Oh, no. <laughs> Clearly, that's not the case. Otherwise, this wouldn't be an issue. Now, hush. Um. Isn't there a way to, like. I guess not for, uh, stuff scenes, I guess. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Can I view it again, please? <sighs> well, I messed up there. You know what? Give me a sec. Usually shouldn't be doing this, but uh... Boop! I messed up there. That is so not cool, man. So not cool. Oh no, spoilers alert. Don't look at this screen. Please. Keep your eyes closed until I say it's okay. Please. You don't want to look at these yet. Please. Okay, you can open your eyes now. Good morning, Lysithia. Up first, I'm Michael. Okay, we're gonna... Not. Uh, your shoe. Oh, thank okay, you Okay, we were right here. Know. But really, I'm perfectly capable of tying them myself. Clearly, that's not the case. Otherwise, this wouldn't be an issue. Now, hush. Um... There we go. Thanks. My... my this boy, Ignatz. You've also got awful bedhead. What? But I examined myself in the mirror before leaving my quarters. It's the back of your head. Quite unkempt. You really should get it together. I mean, really. You're born to a noble adjacent merchant family, aren't you? You really should be more presentable. Damn, Sorry, girl. Lysithia. Calm down. You're down. always so perfectly put together. In fact, I'd say you're perfect in all respects. I don't think I've seen you fail at anything. Well, consider that if I make even the slightest misstep, everyone will treat me like a child. There's nothing I hate more than that. I see. Well, I think you're very mature. If anything, you may be overdoing it somewhat. I mean, people treat me like a child sometimes. But I like it, because it reminds me that other people care about me. You know? No matter how much we stretch, some but things are always glitching out on his belt. Thing. I think it's fine to be vulnerable Buckle. and ask for help sometimes. Ignatz, are you really lecturing me about how I conduct myself right now? Uh -oh. You're a sheepish, unreliable scatterbrain who can only ever think about what others think of him. What? Perhaps you should worry about your own maturity before you start questioning I, mine. I don't think he meant it Although that you way. you certainly look the part of a baby. Oh, so no. So maybe that's asking too much. Oh, no. Anyway, I've got things to do, so I'm gonna go now. Uh, Lysithia, wait. Hey! Out of my way. You're such a child, I swear. That was uncalled for. After all, I am older than she is. You know, second best girl in the Golden Deer house, as, at least as of right now, and how far I've played into the game, well, yeah, it's, uh, she's got quite the tongue on her. She's, uh, yeah. Close your eyes! 
Wait until I continue the game again, please. I'll let you know when it's safe. Dude, okay, you can open your eyes. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I accidentally pressed the plus button. I totally forgot that skips everything because I was trying to hide the dialogue if I could, but I guess you can only hide dialogue and cutscenes and not support conversations. <sighs> Shoot, how many time? How much time passed by? Yo, that was like 10 minutes worth of supports already. Damn. <laughs> Alright, let's see uh, how much more farther we can get into this then. Alright, so uh, I've said it before in the other video, I believe, but never rest. Unless you really need to restore your sword of the creator, never rest. It's such a waste of time. You might as well just go exploring, use up all your ingredients, plant more ingredients in the garden, and well, you know, I'll just show you. But uh, it's, it's better to just not rest. It's better to battle or explore everywhere. Ask a student for help. Let's see. Somebody we want to recruit. Um, shoot, I don't even know what my guy is like, what my Byleth is like good in right now. Let's see. I feel like I should give him some gauntlets. Did I give him gauntlets? I did not give him any gauntlets. I should give him some gauntlets. Or I can just train him in the sword. What is my end game build for him? You know, I have no idea either. Hmm. I could make him pure caster. That would also be kind of cool. magic user. I don't think he learned Seraphim, at least not as to my knowledge. I would have to go check Serenus Forest, which is a great site by the way, you should go check it out. Serenusforest.net. I think it's .net. Um, let me check just to make sure. It is .net. It is definitely .net. Um, if I start training him in Lances now, so I can make him do some kind of mobile. You know what? Screw it. He's just gonna do like swords and brawling. Forget it. Forget it. Gotta go get him some uh, new equipment now. Accept the quest from Jeritza. Before that, let's accept side quests from the bulletins. Don't forget to do these guys. Oh, Geralt. Okay. So always do these, you want to stack up your Renown, which is what you get from these side quests. They're uh, useful for a lot of Castle stuff. Castle Gaspar, eh? I've been there once before, many years ago. It was by request of the son of that family. Kristoff, I think it was. I have a request. Should be somewhere nearby here, I believe. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, this will be a quick one. Oh, wait, this way. And in the meantime, we accept that other quest over there. Well, Out of my way! Well. Manuela. Did you hear? There's news of someone in the kingdom raising an army. <gasps> Empire, the Alliance. <laughs> they do love a good war, don't they? Spilling the blood of young men and women. And for what? Just to enjoy the horror of it? Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? Select the skill and start training. Um sure. It's better to do this now than later. Uh, she's good in the sword. Let's raise up my sword skill. I'm gonna try and turn I MC into a mortal savant. You, That's professor. right. That's what we're gonna try and make him a mortal savant. Which means I better train his black magic skill too when I get the chance. Oh man. How am I gonna turn him into a mage? That's my only problem. Now. Really? Hey. Oh. Yep, that's definitely Gerald's. Is there anybody else here that we can talk to? Yes. I can't believe Ignace. it. This place has so many breathtaking works of art. I feel like I'm living in a museum. You belong in a museum. Each piece can teach us about styles <laughs> and techniques from a thousand years ago. I'm from a family of merchants. Damn, so I think the second option would have given me like, some but I parts. I won't pretend to be an expert. You belong in a museum. You belong in a museum. Why can't I 
go there. Just have to walk. You belong in a museum. You belong in a museum. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wrong road. Running is great in this game. Thank you for having this option to run. Thanks for your help. Alright. Gifts and lost items. If you have the chance, gift anybody that you want. Just make sure. I mean, if you want the best effects they're gifting, then you want to give it to the person who would enjoy that. If not, then, well, too bad. I mean, if you're only focused on getting like a certain person stuff leveled up anyways, then just pour all the gifts on them, man. It's the best way to do it. And that reminds me, I have like one more person to talk to here. Sorry, since we're just going to be doing the monastery this episode, let's just talk to everybody. Maybe not Professor, everybody, everybody, but that might be too much, but... We'll see. We'll see what we can get through today. Pointing a sword at the Holy Church of Seros is akin to pointing a sword at the goddess herself. Meeting out appropriate punishment to the sinful. It is a sacred duty with which we have been entrusted. As a member of the church yourself, I hope that you will take that to heart. Nah. Alright, I think that's everybody we can talk to here. So, we don't have much points left, so we should be very, very careful about how we spend it. Alright, we still gotta talk to Juritsa, don't we? <sighs> do, do, do. Actually, where's the calendar real quick? What is the monthly mission this month? Ah, okay. I know who we should try and go to. Wooden button. Here to train? You really are as hardworking as they say. Huh, maybe the gossip's wrong. Hardworking people usually don't like to make a big fuss about it. Hey, now. Catherine, hmm? Her skill is impressive, I'll admit. So is her sword. But I think she's hiding something. Nobody knows anything about her past. You should spar with her. She's strong. Stronger than you are, I bet. I don't know who I want to try and recruit here. Any lost items that belong to you? I know nothing about... Oh. I know nothing... Nope. This definitely isn't yours. <laughs> Something about this situation doesn't feel right. Why would a minor lord raise an army against a foe he cannot possibly hope to defeat? Lord Lonato must know that his efforts are futile, yet he can't help but fight. If I were in that situation, I would do whatever it took to ensure victory. You can count on that. Okay. Definitely bringing Ash. Because he's somehow related to Lord Leonardo. I, I think it already says he's the adopted son in his profile. I'm not entirely sure, but pretty sure that's what it says. Oh, So, you know. Better time than never to recruit him. Or not recruit him, What's but... What's going uh, to happen to Leonardo? If he's killed, I... I don't know how I'll live with that. Well, you'll live. You'll live. Yes. You're damn right. Huh? You're inviting me to join your class. I'm really flattered, honestly. But I still have a lot left to learn in my current one. What does it take to recruit you? Charisma and the lance. Of course it's the lance. Why am I not surprised? <sighs> Alright, there's three more people here. So where are they? One's in the back there, one's over there, and one's over there. Okay. I have a thought. Past here is the holy mausoleum where the saints of the Church of Sarah slumber. Sorry, but only a select few members of the church are allowed entry. It's open to the public on only one day of the year for the goddess's right of rebirth. Sounds fine. I guess. When you think about it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Listen. Ah, professor. 
It would seem that a minor lord in Fargus is raising an army. This poses a threat, obviously, but not one for the kingdom, for the church. I mean, Fargus doesn't even have a king at present. There's something unsettling about this army. You had better ensure we're fully prepared. I will make sure of that, Lysithia. What? Nope. What? Nope. Magic and crest. Sketch sigil. I'm never gonna find out who these items actually belong to. I just randomly just find somebody and just start hey. giving them a bunch of stuff. <laughs> That's how it always has been. We are truly blessed with how fertile the monastery grounds are. Every day, there's something new to harvest. Hi, Professor. Did you need something? I like recruit you. I've actually got plans, so let's talk some other time. <sighs> Dex and fly. <sighs> Never gonna recruit people in this game. Oh, she has a uh, stuff. Side quest. Let's go look for it. If I'm going the right way. Dorothea. Are you going to fight alongside the Knights of Saros? Hmm. Let me know if you meet anyone I might be interested in, okay? Sure. I do find you very interesting, Professor. I'm just not sure if it's enough to change classes. Of course. Hmm. Let me think about it a bit more. What you need? Charisma and authority. Well then. Okay then. I understand. It seems like something Claude would own. Really? Okay. I've heard whispers about Lord Lenato. They say he's a very kind and gentle lord. Why would such a kind man suddenly raise an army? Oh, Professor. You were working late last night, weren't you? You shouldn't overdo it. Thank a you. A ghost might rise up from the well to get you if you stay up too late. Or so I'm told. That's scary. I have a favor to ask of you. Oh, you want me to join your class? Hmm, well, I'm already having so much fun in my current class. Sorry to disappoint, but I'll have to decline. Of course. Magic and the bow. Well then. To be honest, I felt a bit lost here at the monastery. At a loss for what to do. Thankfully, a sweet young girl reached out and offered her help. I believe she's Seth's little sister. Huh? You think I would be a good fit for your class? Mm, I'm not sure. There's still a lot I want to learn from my current class. Sorry to disappoint. I see how it is. Magic and faith. Okay, hold on a second, actually. What? Um, see, he mastered his class already. Oh, that's right. I gotta change people into their classes. Shoot. I hope I have the money for that. I really do. I'll do that before I start training somewhere. Let's just. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that then. I haven't been to the entrance hall yet. Are you kidding me? Really? Okay. Sylvain. Uh, Professor, have you seen Felix around? I swear, as soon as you take your eyes off him, poof, he's gone. Poof. Ah, of course he's there. Sorry for bothering you, Professor. Thanks. Na, 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 What's up, na. Professor? You need something from me? Let me recruit you. Hey. Oh, shit. Okay, charisma and reason. Fine. It's understandable. The entrance hall. Ba 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 bum. Ba bum. Okay, anyways, where is the counselor that we need to talk to? Oh, this counselor. We were just here. Well, I mean, not just, but. What about? See if I can get this right. Oh, like I said, I'm not going to read the um, stuff, the uh, little templates here that act as like guides and whatnot. You can pause the video and read it yourself. 
I'll give some time to, you know, let you do that. But other than that, yeah, I'm just not gonna read it. Maybe these ones for sure I'll read. Song and dance live in our memory, live on in our memories, but there's no real record of them. Even memories fade over time. Will anyone remember me, remember me when I'm gone? I'm sure you'll live on in someone's heart. Pretty sure that's it. Just definitely don't want to say who are you again. There we go. Thank you so much for your help. Well, thank you for giving me some renown. Alright, since we're already here, actually. Let's check the renown. Oh, I guess we can't upgrade it yet. Okay, but this statue place is where you, uh... Use your renown, spend it. It brings you. It makes the statues give you some bonuses that help you throughout the game. Uh, they're especially helpful when you uh, after you beat the game and you start a new file. It's, well, I don't know if that's really considered a spoiler alert, but yeah, it's, that's that's that. That's that. Uh, I have to walk here too. Are you kidding me? And I have to walk there too. Are you joking? Uh, okay. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. I'll do it. Cause there's a lot of places to explore. This is the marketplace, though. By the way, buy your items here. Buy your weapons here. Repair your weapons here because there is a blacksmith, and you can also check out the battalion guild. Professor. A carrot. And look, here's Hilda. Professor, your clothes are a bit dirty. If you don't pay attention to your hygiene, the girls won't like you. I hate when my clothes get dirty. That's one of the many reasons I find it best to train as little as possible. Really, really starting to dislike her right now. Never seen. Oh, wait, never not, that one. not that one. Never not that never one. Seen. Not that one. Really starting to dislike her. I don't know. I still need to know her backstory and other supports, of course, before I start liking her. But right now, she's getting on my nerves. I don't like you, Hilda. I really don't. Hey, it's the Knight's Hall. You know, I don't know if I talked about it in the other videos, but these horses are something. They have very long ears. That explains why they can do all those motions when you're on a... When you're like a, you know, a mounted character. A horse-mounted character oh. with a bow. Hello, Professor. Um, was there something you needed? Came to see the horses. Oh, you like horses? I like them too. They're such kind creatures. Any of these, sir? Oh, it's, it's definitely not. What's one. this? What's this? Okay. Why? Okay. This way. You crazy owl. You stop that. Did you best be on your guard? Oh, okay. All right. All right. Let's see. After Fargus lost its king, there were many rebellions. It is likely that Lord Lenato's provocations are related. How frustrating that I am too young to take the throne, rendered powerless by age. If the throne is vacant much longer, the kingdom will fall to ruin. After Fargus lost it, how frustrating. Take over the throne, man. I cannot. Oh no, yeah, it doesn't belong to you. Hello. So I guess there's any more side quests. Holstering forces. Sure. Alright, Juritsa. What? I desired fresh air. <laughs> no? Is that not the correct answer? I have a favor to ask. 
Alright, time to go to the Italian Guildmaster. Which is over here in the marketplace. Haha. Yep. What do you require? Uh what am I supposed to do here? For a planish? Sure. Do I need to hire somebody? Ooh. You see this skill right here? Every tuber, every FE tuber says this skill is broken. So make sure you buy it as early as possible. Do you want to hire this? You can rely on us. Other than that, I don't think I'll be hiring anything right now. But I've never heard of Mad Melee. That actually sounds pretty cool. I really love the abilities that have very big ranges for specific reasons. So that's just my intake. Like I would use Blaze a lot. Um, sometimes stuff like this, uh, Disturbance can also be pretty good. Lure is also pretty good. Uh, what else? That's about it right now, but uh, yeah, I really love things like Blaze because um, so much more better, in my opinion, because of the wide area it covers. So, thank you. No, thank you. Maybe. At the Battalion Guild, you can meet battalions that aren't affiliated with the Church of Seraphs. We're allowed to hire those folks too, so be sure to visit the guild later to check it out. Naturally. Battalions will lose endurance as they fight. You can replenish battalion endurance by visiting the battalion guild in the market. But of course. Alright. So I think that's all the side missions for now. So let's go and uh, let's go to the dining hall. Linhart, Kaspar, Seteth, and Hannah Mineral here or around here. Oops. If you have a moment, I would like a word. It has been brought to my attention that certain individuals have been making advances toward flame. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Not at if all. If you do see anyone getting too close with flame, please inform me of it at once. Overprotective father. I'm sorry. But I must vent to someone, Professor. I mean, brother. You're familiar with More Manuela's slovenly brother. behavior, yes? That woman. She borrowed a book last week. He's like an overprotective father. Stains of unknown origin on the cover, and several pages either folded or torn. Just now, she dropped a sandwich on the floor, picked it up, and kept eating. When she saw my shock, she said simply, three second rule. Ugh. I see that kind of stuff shouldn't fly back then, or in these kinds of times, you know. Cause... Ah, today's meal yeah. was delicious. Linhart keeps bothering me about eating too fast. Says I'm gonna choke or something. Absolutely, I knew you'd see things my way. Did you hey, come professor? to my side? Here to cause some trouble? No? Well, whatever then. Strength and brawl. I I should raise my brawl. Professor, I feel I must speak to you about Kaspar's eating habits. <clears throat> I've never seen the like of it. He inhales entire plates of food in mere seconds. So I've been told Linhard is voiced by Chris Patton. If you guys don't know him, um, for, the only thing that really pops off the top of my head is he voiced Sosuke Sagara from the Full Metal Panic series, at least the dub. And I like that. I like that. Pretty cool. Nice to hear him in uh, doing, you know, his voice acting stuff again. Honestly. That's my mentioning it to you. Good luck with him. You should join uh -huh. my side. Your class. I can see the appeal. Yes. But. However, I still have a lot of books I wish to read in this class. But talk to me again, okay? Of course, that would be the same. Set. Magic and reason. Wasn't there someone else that needed magic and reason? I forget. Whatever. Head chef, head chef. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe better just eat with people. I'm gonna go eat with people instead. 
Okay, who, let's see. Who does Claude have supports with? Petra of all people. I see, I see. Hmm, interesting. That's it? Really? He only has like that much people he can talk to? And besides like Ingrid and Annette? Oh, okay. Let's do that then. Claude and Petra. Sweet tooth week though. Oh man. Yeah, oh, damn it. Okay, fine. Um You know what? Let's see who else likes Ithia can speak with that. Or um Marion? Let's try Marion. Who likes sweets? I know Linhart does. Sylvain. He's not on here. He's not on here. How dare he not be on here? <sighs> well. Might as well get somebody from my class. Maybe better that way. Um, or. Still try to get Linhart. But did Mario have Linhart? Oh jeez, I forgot already. It's the one thing I hate. I don't memorize a lot of this stuff. But she does have one with Linhart. Get doing it. Um, I find it difficult to eat when you stare. My apologies. You and the professor are both so fascinating, I simply cannot help myself. Interesting. He finds Marion fascinating. At least over lunch. Or, well, dessert, or whatever. Alright, well, I would like to talk to everybody and more people, but, uh, sadly we do not have the stuff for that, so let's proceed. Oh no, instructional period time. I still don't know what I'm doing with you, bruh. What are your goals? What are people's goals in here? Yeah, I know there's that. Ignats. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm definitely doing that for you then. Marion, same thing. Yeah, that's fine. Totally fine with that. Hilda, really don't know what I'm doing with you, but. It's not like you can turn into a brawler class anyways. Leone, yeah, you're fine. Okay, big nuts. What's up with your horse, bruh? You can only train three people. He has stuff for black magic though. Kinda wanna see what he gets from it, but Well, for giving him stuff in lances anyways, it might be fun. I'll take a look. Okay, let's take a look. I'll keep I've really grown My Scythia, your stuff is almost at a D plus, let's just raise that up. Good. We've got a grasp on this. Um, let's raise your authority. <laughs> Don't stop. Keep it coming. Oh yeah. Easier than I thought. Okay, one more person. Marion. Maybe Marion. Do Hilda. Let's do Marion. Riding. That was. It's starting to make sense. I hope so. That was nice. Right. Um, yeah, not too bad. But I guess we need to raise her into a magic class if we're gonna keep her as a 
moves. We're gonna have that for end game. Okay, whatever. Begin. Oh wait, wait, group task. Nice, nice. Hey, can I ask you something? Go ahead. That was a fascinating lecture, but now my brain is fried. I feel like I need a change of pace to reinvigorate. What do you recommend? Catch a fish from the pond and cook it. T try going for a stroll around the... Who wants to go to the library to read? <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, it's a refresher. You, I mean, you know. Taking a stroll might be good, actually, too. Ah, now there's an idea. There we go. Yay! Yes. So that's the main thing you want to do. You want to raise your professor level as much as possible. That's why I highly recommend doing the uh, exploring the monastery like every time. Because the higher you get, the more stuff you're able to do, the more stuff you kind of unlock, and yeah, it just helps on and so forth. Oh no, someone's birthday. Whose birthday is it? Lorenzo's birthday. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Saturday. Together we will do just fine. I'll do what I can. That wasn't so bad. I wish these group tasks raised um, more of the proficiency, but eh, whatever. Take what you can get. I'm beginning to understand. I hope it's so. fun when you know what you're doing. I hope not so. as hard as I thought. I know it's not hard for you, Leo. Now would be a good time to actually go into a battle, but. I also should check people's glasses. Well, if anything, um, I think that should be it for today. We're already in like 42 minutes in. That's a long time. And that was only like one week of doing stuff. See? This is why this game takes kind of a while to... Oh, you know what? I also forgot to go to the greenhouse before I went to do stuff. Damn it. I guess I'll do it next week. In any case, guys, uh, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave your comments and opinions in the section down below. Um, I do also recommend hitting that bell notification button just in case you aren't getting any of my updates whenever I upload a new video. And it helps you stay up to date with me as well. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this was your boy, the Edge Master with the Dirty Boy Swag, Good Gamer Glenn, and I'm wishing you all a good game and a good day. Aloha.